for your camera shot? You ready to be famous? You ready to be famous, puppers? <laughs> Smile for the camera, so be lovely. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, smile for everybody. Smile. Say hello, I'm Sophie. Make lo Sophie Lou McLofi. That's her name. And then, of course, Fulford. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to putter away again at this cathedral. Super easy. Like, you know when you think about it and you're just wrapping your brain around? Once you, once, it's like learning anything new. You don't know until you learn, but then once you learn it, you're like, hey, that's pretty easy. You know, I got this, right? So that's pretty much what it is with this pattern. Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I'm okay, Steph. Hope you are too. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I, I missed all your names going by so fast. So I know there was Pat, Naomi, and Connie, Joe, and Mary, and Pauline, and there's lots of you. I appreciate you. Hello, Hello Tanya Jones. We, we video chatted yesterday. My goodness, she had the three cutest little munchkins with her. They were so adorable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Happy day to all. Yes, it's uh, it's not bad out here. It was a little sunny and now it's gone cloudy, but it's okay. We did have frost last night. It's okay. Not bad. It is the 3rd of October and it is southeastern Ontario. Orange is a good color for you. Why, thank you. Pop picked this one out for me. But I'm not very happy with the, um, uh, after it's like second wash, it's actually kind of coming apart here on the black. So I'm not really too thrilled about that one. So, but uh, other than that, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> appreciate it. Got heavy rain? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hello, Teresa. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for your time. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Thank you for showing up for your guild meeting. Anybody want to share any news or... Or anything, feel free, feel feel free to share if you got something excited, or even if you just need a hug, we're here to give you a hug too. Okay. Hello, Miss Sass. Dry here but very windy. Hello, Miss Helly. I did get your message, and thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate that. Big hugs, big hugs, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Beautiful here in Tennessee. Very nice. Very nice. <clears throat> Hello, Elkie. Good evening. Where are you from, Elkie? I forget. I know you're over uh, over yonders because you said good evening. So, hello, Vanessa and Jerry and Joanne. Um, and we got Kelly and Wendy and Steph, of course. I'm sure there's names I missed in there, and I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm just trying to get my third section because we only did half. I did not touch this since last Saturday. I'm like, nope, that's it. I'm just going to keep working on it on the Saturdays till I get it done. So... And we'll probably plug away about two and a half, maybe three hours today. Just just to see how far we can get done. You never know. Because because we understand it a bit more and we've actually put a bigger sections together, it may go a little bit faster. But it has been a week, so. <laughs> see, Ripper count is zero. Yes, it is. Thank you very much. <laughs> you never know. We're probably going to need it today. <laughs> um. Oh, hello, Laura. That is part of our weekend project that we're doing, which is weekend video that comes out Friday earlier for those who are uh, paid members of our um, guild member site. Uh, they always get early uh, release on all of our videos. Uh, and it's been really fun coming together. We're going to do it all the way up until the week before Christmas, or I think the week of Christmas. I think I can't quite remember, but it's right there. And uh, it's uh, a free pattern. Um, block section to come together and there's 16 of them and it's so cute isn't it so i'm making two of them so you'll see that here let me let me be let me be teacher laura lynn for a moment here this is block one for two quilts this is block two for the two quilts this one is block three and this one hiding behind this one over here is block four so we did three and four as of Friday's videos, Friday's videos releases, because we needed to catch up because there wasn't 16 weeks till Christmas. So, uh, and then we'll have to double up on another week, but we'll do that a little bit closer till we're almost done. So, and maybe something a little bit easier because that was, I'm not saying it wasn't complicated, but it did take some time. It, it took some time, just saying. This one went together way, way faster. Yeah, for sure. Aren't they cute? So I'm making one for each of my sisters. I'm the baby. So, and I got two sisters above me. So, and that's gonna be their Christmas present. Get on, I know, I'm, t I'm taking a, a mental lesson from you, Allison. <laughs> Did I do okay? <laughs> Hopefully I did okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello from beautiful East Tennessee, first time joining. Well, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Cranky at summer. <laughs> I don't think sass is ever cranky. Not that I've ever seen it to be ever cranky. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is just putting those squares to ironing them because we need, I think it what was six, 16 because that was our next section. We were doing eight by 10 or something like that. Yeah, that was right. So we got one row two rows and we're working on our third and fourth row so i got a few more i got four five six seven eight i got no seven i got seven more to go we can get that done well they don't i'm hoping they don't know well i know one won't know <laughs> but the other one does sneak into the chat every now and again don't don't we know it girls <laughs> girls and boys <laughs> Or ladies and gentlemen, whatever you like to be prefer to be called. Gildies. So yeah, that's my sister Lisa. She's she's my eldest sister. She actually made my wedding dress. And you guys have seen that photo of Munch uh, of Munch. Well, I was gonna say Munchkin's dad, but yeah, that, that was right. It was coming out right. Munchkin's dad and I getting getting all hitched up, looking all cute. Indeed. I got a little fold over here, so I'm just going to try and tuck that in a little bit more. It's not as bad. Okay. Uh, you have to, um, 
hold on, how many of the white fabric do you have in yardage? I need to know how much to get. Okay, well, you really want to look for a really good deal and probably go for broadcloth on this one, which is the cheaper of the cheap, because you're taking a really big piece. You're taking, hold on, let's, I know they're not all sewn together here. I still had them in stages so I could show. You're taking an 18, for this, this size project, you're taking an 18, 18, 18 inch by 18 inch, folding it in half, sewing it down each of these. So you have like the big pocket, okay? And then once that comes to this part here, you wanna line up those seams. So you're gonna flip it the other way and then you're gonna sew it and then you're gonna turn it right side out and it comes like this. And it's very soft and it's very light, but because you're folding it and folding it and sealing up all the seams, you're kind of finishing it all at once. So you're kind of including your backing fabric and you're batting if you wanted to in that cost of getting that fabric. So, you know, try and look for a deal though, or, or um, look in the, um, like the Salvation Armies, the Sally Ann's, the missions, the Bible submissions and stuff like that, and see if you can find a couple of white sheets and chop those suckers up. That would probably be the best deal. Because you can always bleach white if you needed to get it cleaner and then use the same thing, so. But I think it would look very pretty even with a dark color, not necessarily just a white. The only reason why I chose white is because I have a big bolt that's taller than me. And it was, it was really round when we got it. Now it's only about <laughs> this big. <laughs> I've used it for lots of projects, including this one. So I pulled off probably about 11 yards of fabric from my bolt. Okay. But I'm choosing to do really big ones compared to the... Um, some of the written tutorials I have seen, they are much smaller scale. You're using like two inch squares or two or three inch squares to go in the center. So, but. Oh, Sophie's out. She's like, all right, she's talking to herself. Must be nap time. She's talking to that thing again. <laughs> Yeah, so that's, and that's really easy. Once it gets to this part and you're pulling it out to, um, to, to turn it right side out and then you're, you're good to go. So I made sure to cut 80 plus. I, I don't see why not there, Pam. I don't see why not. Because it's layered, you've you're got like, here's two layers on top of each other and then you're putting this and this together. So that's like four. And then you got fabric going on. So like... I can't see it doing any harm, you know what I mean? I just definitely wash it beforehand because it really makes it, uh, um, what the water am I looking for? Pliable, I guess, uh, you know, in your maneuverings because it's been washed and, and it's, you know, and you know it's, it's okay for your hands to use. You're not going to get a rash from company starches or colorings or anything like that. Yeah, Pop, Pop's having a, a rough couple of days. He did something to his back. I've, I've, I've rubbed it. I've had Munchkin go fetch some back tablets and when I couldn't find them here in the local little village. So, you know, we've, we've been, we've been, I've been trying to help him. <laughs> I've been trying to be Nurse LL. <laughs> Hello, Miss Heather. Oh, yikes. Ouch. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know, and there's nothing sometimes worse than back issues, you know what I mean? That's why I had such, have such sympathy for Miss Helly, you know, when she's got back issues. Anybody's got back issues, I know, I know what it's like. I remember lifting off one of the attachments to the Jeep and trying to wiggle it on the ground or on, onto the Jeep or something like that, and I pulled the back muscle and I ended up laying down in the driveway for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and Munchkin's like, I don't know what to do with you. And I'm like, I don't know what to do with me either. Just leave me here. I need to just cry. <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> Everything hurt. Everything hurt. <clears throat> nothing, nothing worse. And of course, there was that one time not too long ago. It was probably what, last year? Or was it the year before? Around this time, I remember bending down to pet and rub Sophie's belly and uh, pull the back muscle. <laughs> That was one of the worst back muscle uh, pains I've ever had, that one, especially the next day. 
Yeah, because we had to cancel the stream. That's right. I remember that. Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Happy you're here. All right, I think I might have enough, but let's do a few more. And that gives me a better idea how many actually I have to finish off because I have some fabric here. I don't think I made all of them, but but some, some were turning out a little wonkier than others, so I wasn't using them. Hello, hello. Happy everybody's here. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Everybody have a good week. We had a cross-stitch uh, Tuesday on Thursday this week, <laughs> which was good because we caught a few people that we don't normally catch, so it was very nice. It's very nice to see some new faces and see, have some new introductions and new chats. So. It doesn't always have to be about sewing. Right? Oh, thanks, Cheryl. Appreciate that. <clears throat> Love the Thank you, Jackie. You're like the second one to comment on that today. Well, thank Pop for the choice. He picked it out for me. He picks out all my t-shirts. <laughs> oh, thank you, Vanessa. Big hugs. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I saw that Naomi was breathing uh, Joanne's. <laughs> I'm assuming that's a crazy place on a Saturday. It's probably just, especially this time of year. Well, I don't know. Is is I don't is Halloween even happening this year? I don't even think it's happening up here. Mm, country, new meaning for dodge. Dodge some deer, turkeys, and squirrels getting to work. <laughs> Such an adventure, right, Deborah? <laughs> Such an adventure. I know sometimes it goes by too, too fast there, Kelly. I even said to Pop, is there a way we can slow down the chat sometimes? Because it goes by way too fast. <laughs> and then I feel really bad because I've missed things and people have asked questions or it's their first time saying hi and then they don't ever say hi again because they've missed it. And I, uh, you know. And he says no. <laughs> like, ah. Okay, let's see how many we got here. We need, we need 16 to make some production. So let's move this. This one was a wonky one. Oh, mm, what's everybody drinking today? I had some white cranberry juice. Cheers, cheers, cheers. What's in your mug? Mm. Yeah, there's no this camera today. We've tried so many times to fix it, and yeah, anyways, it's all right. It is what it is. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, right on the nose. It's like I knew what I was doing. Ice cold water, hot tea, hot tea, iced tea, Diet Coke, Diet Coke always. <laughs> uh, a British blend tea with half and half. Oh, there we go. Iced tea, coffee, coffee, apple cider in my mug. A big hello to those who are here for the first time. Welcome. Thank you, Kelly. A. That's very nice of you. Bottle Dr. Pepper, mocha, coffee, and orange juice. Boy, you got a you got a collage there. Lime cornjuice sister. A bottle of water, iced tea, diet energy drink. Ooh. I don't mind Joanne's usually, but between door busters and such, I waited thirty minutes for a single cup. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. I don't got that patience. Third cup of java. <laughs> Kelly is ready to thread the needle while the machine's going. <laughs> That's what she's ready for. <laughs> Do good finish the binding on another scrappy baby quilt. Very nice, Ella. Very nice. Very nice. Our next project is super scrappy, but I'll share that with you next week. So, and hopefully people can sew along. Mm. Do -do -do. Uh, anyone wanting to see some awesome Halloween decorations, check out the following Halloween in the house, Sac City on Facebook, my sister's home and big family party. Very cool. I don't know. Check it out. Hello, Linda. We were actually just talking about our local fabric stores. That's one of my, one of my girls. One of my girls at my local fabric store. <laughs> Going into my sewing room, so no chatting, and my TV lags behind a lot. Oh, sorry, Pat. Okay, well, big hugs. 
Big hugs to you. You have a black screen. Uh, I'm not sure why, but, uh, Linda. Can you hear me just fine? Maybe, um, what, what, what are you using? A, a computer or a tablet? Elderflower. Oh, that sounds so fancy, Angela. <laughs> It's been flat. Oh, uh, nothing in my cup, but that's because I am focused on cooking dinner so that hubby just has to reheat it since I worked it. Oh, you're, you're a good woman. <clears throat> you're a good woman, Sammy D. I spent the last couple of days cutting blocks on my AQ for a rag, rag quilt. Oh, very nice. I haven't done a rag quilt yet. That's on my, uh, that's on my list to do. Tablet. That's interesting. Are you well? You're obviously signed in because I can see your name there, Linda. So um, I don't, and you can hear me just fine. Anybody have any tips? Does I don't know. Pop does. That's weird that it's a black. Someone else said on the uh, on the twelve hour live stream they only had a black screen too, which was weird. <clears throat> Now we have to sew some of these together, remember? Not stitch them this way first. Let's sew them this way first. <laughs> we learned that. We, we, we learned good. You can see me now? Okay. You can see me now. Well, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but just saying. <laughs> I'm happy if you're happy. Because apparently I look really good in this orange. If I'm looking good in this orange, then I'll take it. <laughs> Turned it off and on again. Okay, well, there we go. Maybe we can use that as a helpful hint for others in the future. Hello, Connie Sue from Greetings from Missouri. Hello, hello. Uh, there we go, Jackie. That was a good, that was a good uh, helpful hint there, or helpful tip there. Thank you. Thank you for thinking of that. I want to try Rag Rug too. I hear that's a lot of cutting. And I think you need not necessarily a special pair of scissors, but there's a, like it's a spring-loaded pair of scissors that would help in that project. Uh, that I have read. So I've, I've never had myself one of those spring-loaded pair of scissors, so I never took on one of those projects. And I certainly want to use um, my regular scissors because they'd be dull by the time I finished half of the quilt or a quarter of the quilt, so... And if it's not spring-loaded back, that's going to be terrible on my hands. And some of you may or may not know, but I did break this hand once. <laughs> and it doesn't work sometimes the way it wants to, or I, I want it to. Let's put it that way. All right, so one, two, three. Let's go with those. Let's move our other little stack. We probably won't need all these. But... Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, well, the cashier at the store has a sister who quilts. I was wearing one of your t-shirts, so you may get another visitor. So, well, wonderful. Thank you, T.F. <laughs> That's lovely. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's very nice. Hello, Anne. My friend bought a pair of those spring-loaded scissors that really helped when cutting the... Yeah, I, 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 I read there's no point in doing it without it because you will have, like, cramps in no time. And they said, in fact, get two and get someone to help you. <laughs> Sit on the other end. <laughs> that was one tutorial I read, and I laughed out loud at that one. <laughs> they said, in fact, when shopping for scissors, get two and then coerce a friend to come over for tea and cut with you. <laughs> I'm like, that's a good plan. Hmm. Note to self. <laughs> hmm. I know, right? Uh, a loaded scissors and what a difference. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. And and same, you got to have the right tool for the job. Or it makes the job so much more blah. Well, I thank you so much. You're the third one to say something about that. My, my orange t-shirt today. I thank you so much. Oh, kudos to Pop. He shops for me. All right, let's get some sewing going on. Uh, I have about a half a bobbin in here and a full bobbin up top, so that should take us for the for, for what we got going on today. I don't even think we used that much uh, last week. So, and it's just on a regular stitch per inch of the two point four. A quilt. I think somebody asked me that, and is it like a quilt pillow? It's the quilt that folds into a pillow. 
Is that it? No, I don't think I have. I've made pillowcases. I've made weird things when I was a kid that probably would represent a quillow, but not as in classification for today. <laughs> yeah, sorry, there's no... Um, maybe, we, maybe we can move Lofi to the other side of the screen or something. Take your pins out. Uh, need a quill with don't use of that. It does matter what kind of thread to use. Sewing quilts. I used a cheap polyester and it made loops in the backs. Oh no. Yes. Quillers are fun. Lots of fun tutorials. Okay, there we go. Um Weak wrist use a trimmer on a ruler made by well-known. Oh, okay, okay, that's a good idea too. That's a good idea. <coughs> good morning, Wynona. How you doing today? Yeah, hugs to everyone. I agree. Put your arm to the left. Put your arm to the right. Give yourself a squeeze real, real tight. There you go. Give yourself a hug. It's a hug from us to you. Feel free to hug as long as you like. It's a beautiful day here. It's a gorgeous day. So far, so good. It was a little, we got some frost last night. That's all right. Well, that happens. And my, my taco fries I was talking about on our um, cross-stitch live stream on Thursday turned out fantastic. It was, they were so good. Should have seen the look on uh, Munchkin's face when uh, he, because he didn't know I'd already made the taco seasoning by the time, or meat seasoning by the time he came up from stairs from, from school. And then I was prepping the, Pop had already cut the fries, and then I was prepping the oil in the pan and stuff. And he goes, oh, Are we having taco fries? <laughs> I go, Yes. He's like, oh, Do we have sour cream? I went, No. He goes, oh, Okay, we don't need it. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> It made me laugh, but it was good. We had like made homemade French fries and then we had the taco meat seasoning on top of it. And then I put the lettuce, tomato and cheese on top of that. But he says I should have put the cheese down first to melt on the meat and then put the lettuce and the tomato on top. But I don't care. It was all going in here. I didn't care if it was melting or not. <laughs> it was all going in my pie hole. <clears throat> it didn't matter. <laughs> I wasn't going to be that picky. <laughs> it was very good. And of course, my eyes are always big, bigger than my belly, and the boys were laughing at me as I was loading up my plate. <laughs> They're like, yeah, sure, she's not going to finish that. I didn't, but it looked so good, and it smelled so good, I really wanted some. <laughs> oh, are you sewing along the crease line of the bolt? Yes, I am, Miss Wendy. I certainly am. But I'm pinning up at the corner first because I really want that to be important. I'm trying to wiggle and woggle on this part here to, you know, just be a little bit, yeah, it can come down just a smidgy, you know, whatever. It's going to be flexible. But yes, I'm sewing on the crease, the crease. That is what help, why, that's why you press it to help you with that. I mean, you could always mark it if you wanted to, but they're not always going to be the same. You have to be able to uh, be a little bit flexible with your, uh, with your pinning and, and your sewing. It's fabric we're working with, right? It's manipulated fibers. It has its own plan. We know that. Put one down here. Hello, Uta. How you doing? Good evening to you. Apples, uh, onions, and the peanut. Okay. 
I'll take the apple and the onions. You can have the peanut. I don't want no peanut. You trying to give me an anaphylactic shot? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, is that our four together? I think that is. Un, deux, trois, quatre. Look what we have here. <coughs> Apples, onions, and potato. Oh, okay. <laughs> it looks like a peanut from here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll take potato. <coughs> I'll take all of those. <laughs> it was hard to see, Robin. Sorry. <laughs> it looks like a peanut. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh, thank you, Pop. There we go. Good job. Thank you, tech department. We can't get what we want, we adapt. We'll get one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Oh, congratulations, Ass. I'm very exciting. A week earlier, earlier too. What, 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 what did I miss? Mm, what did I miss? Darn it. Somebody fill me in on the 411. Don't make me get out my angry eyes. No, I'm <laughs> I don't think I have a pair of it. I'm sorry? Oh, actually, yeah, a week earlier. Oh, 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 oh. My heart's just a pitter-patter for you and, and your family. Definitely. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Fingers crossed for you, babe, and, and your family. And little Mitchell. Definitely news to celebrate. Wonderful. So it's gonna be Halloweeny baby. Okay, that's our second row. Let's do all of our oh, oh, don't tell me. Oh. <laughs> I thought I sewed like one to the next. <laughs> like like around in a circle, but I didn't think it <laughs> That would that would just be me, let me tell you. Uh, let's sew another four in a row together. Uh, let's get the four, the rows of four done first, and then we'll sew all the rows together. Okay, so let's pin the this back up here. <laughs> That's funny. I thought I made a whole circle. Hello, Marguerite. Good evening from Germany. Hello, how's Germany? I, I, I think I forgot to ask how Denmark was. How's how's Denmark today, there, Miss Miss Ellie? How was it today? I mean, because it's evening now. And, and what was for dinner? I am making um, beef, like stewing beef, but I'm going to brown it with some mushrooms and uh, an onion and then uh, pressure cook it and make its own little gravy juju and then we're gonna have that on some uh, a bed of egg noodles with um peas on the side no what did we just we decided something else was going on the side forgot maybe it's a combination of peas and beans but nonetheless that's that's what's going on for our dinner tonight because it was supposed to be for dinner last night but by the time i ended my day for some reason, I, I caught a chill on the, the Thursday, and I just for some reason could not get warm Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. I mean, I was warm once I got tucked into bed, but then as soon as I got out of bed, I, I, I seemed to have this like little tiny shiver. So, and it took me a long time to get warmed up yesterday. So, so I said, you know what? I just don't feel like making dinner tonight. So Munchkin went out and grabbed burgers. 
which was very nice of him. You know, we pin those. Let's pin these last four while we're here, and then we'll sew those uh, guys together. Okay. Since we have this camera overhead right now, let's just pin that. Hope everybody's doing okay. If you, if you need a hug, we're sending you a hug. If you need a, a, a thoughtful prayer, we're sending you that too. Just, just know that we, we are there for you if you need us. And we appreciate you and you hanging out with us and sharing your time with us. Just a, we have we have our, our Thanksgiving coming up next weekend. We're gonna probably have it our turkey on the Sunday. We are very excited. So um, whatever we don't get done from this today, we will finish up next week. And then as well as I have another uh, little, um, uh, how, well, it's actually I, I believe Allison gave me this. I think it was last year. Hold on, don't go away, Allison. I'm gonna show you. <coughs> I believe she gave me this panel, so I thought I could use my half hexy ruler and build some beautiful pieces to go around it. So we'll finish, we'll do this, we'll finish that off next week as part of our Thanksgiving. Yeah. Oh, sorry, the other way. Oh, thank you, Steph. Big hugs. Isn't that? It's super cute. It's super cute. I absolutely love it. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Steph. Big hugs. Big hugs. Yeah, isn't that? Isn't that lovely? I believe, I believe Allison gave me this in one of her many goodie, goodie packages she has given me. So I thought it'd be nice with a half hexy ruler, a small one, and we can build out, just because I like the way it's shaped, because it reminds me of the spider web, that half hexy ruler. So busting the colors that go along with this, maybe just even black and white, I haven't decided yet, or just black and white and orange. Uh, and then we're just, we're gonna build it out. We'll build it out like a little, well, yeah, we'll just, we'll cut some fabric and kind of work on it, okay? I think it'll be, I think it'll be very pretty. Uh, isn't it beautiful? I'm pretty sure Allison gave that to me. If, if, I'm, if I'm wrong on that, I'm sorry to whoever did give it to me, and I feel really bad that I remembered it incorrectly. So, but I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun to build out with that little half hexy ruler. So, and that's um, a half hexy ruler that Miss Jo Marie has lent me for quite a little while now because I used it for a project and she said she really didn't need it back and she'd asked for it when she needed it. So, <laughs> so I, I just keep thinking of ideas to use it. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I could use this and I could do that. So, uh, yeah, and then here's some of those uh, Christmassy fabrics I had cut last week that we're gonna include in this project, okay? Some lovely little colors. All right, let's get some sewing. Mm -hmm. Might as well invest in his monies. Okay, well that's, that's good. Last year I made placemats of just the Bottom pumpkin part, love the bottom pumpkin part. So what was the top part of the pumpkin? Was that like the placemats that were in the table holding all the vegetables under them? Because that would have been funny. Because then you had to find your matching top to your bottom by the end of the evening. That would be funny. I, I, I'm liking this game now. I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of cool with it. <laughs> Pops cook completed, I may have missed it on Saturday. Uh, I'm, uh, what do you mean, Elizabeth? Pops, pil, 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 pil. the pardon? Oh, no, it's not. But you know what? I would like to finish that up. So, but Pop didn't really want to do videos on it anymore. But if we get enough people requesting, maybe we'll have no choice but to finish the Because I would love to finish it. 
And he, he has some more paperwork to do. I, as soon as I get the paperwork, I get the stuff cut. I haven't got the paperwork yet. So. And I know for some reason he felt disenchanted with it. And I, I really do love it. And I know Lois loves hers. And there obviously is a few other people who are partaking in this that we did not know of. So we apologize for messing up your plans on trying to finish this by this month because it should have been finished this month. So we will, we will get on it. Okay, and I will and I will finish it. What size are the small squares? Uh, you're talking the the Christmassy fabric here. Those are five, five and a half by five and a half. But you could probably use five and a quarter by five and a quarter, depending how far you're folding your edges over, like how far you're folding this this corner edge over, rolling it over onto the fabric. So that that could determine the flexibility of, of number there, whether it be five and a half or five and a quarter. So. Yeah, right, right, Helly? That's exactly what that was going to be my question. That's why I was asking about Anne. And I haven't seen Lois. I haven't seen her online either. So I hope her and Pat are doing okay. And Pat hasn't worn her out now that he's home. I, oh, oh, thank you, Anne. I appreciate that. Well, maybe we get lots of positive feedback. That'll... Uh, Renig the uh, negative crap we got, so. I mean, stuff we got. Bad word. Well, I don't know. Do people think crap is a bad word? I don't think so. I don't think that's a bad word. Because it's, um, it's right under here. It's under my desk, all rolled up. Like, ready to go. And the bucket, the bucket, literally, I can show you, the bucket's right here for the fabrics to cut. So, like, I'm ready. I'm ready to rock, right? So, I just, I just, I just need, need to, need, need to get it. Get, get the information. Get the 411, and then I can proceed. Okay, that's another strip of four complete. Let's put that off to the side. And let's sew this other last little strip of four. This is another, uh, I guess, quarter quadrant, or yes. So we'll just we'll sew what we can of this of the where we're going to line it up to the 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 big stack over here, and what colors I want to load up on it, and then before we get to the part where we need to add on the second section. We'll just add in our little colors for that. Pink sick unicorn quilt. Oh, actually, uh, Allison shared a good uh, project with me. It was uh, for the month of October. I think it was the Fat Quarter Shop is uh, doing a, um, like it's a bunch of blocks. It's beautiful. It's all in pink too, like different shades of pink. Um, there's no way I can take that on right now, but I doesn't mean I wouldn't really like to do it at some point in time and be able to donate it to um, um, Breast Cancer Society as a donation or raffle off or something. I don't know, but it's definitely for a good cause. So if you guys want to go check it out, please do so. And thank you, Allison, for sharing that information with me. I don't get a lot of time to go and research and stuff. I wish I had a crew for that, but I don't. I can I can barely get the munchkin to take the recycle boxes in from the end of the driveway when recycle day was Thursday and it's now Saturday afternoon. So, yeah, you got your battles. I got mine. Okay, now we got our four rows of four. Mm -hmm. Hello, Diane57. How you doing today? How you doing today? How's Texas? You're in Texas, aren't you? I'm having a brain fart there. I'm sorry, Diane57. I swear you're in Texas. If not, I think you should move. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, now we're going to pin these rows together and then we'll sew those. <laughs> doing great awesome awesome happy to see you here dear happy to see you <laughs> I 
Mm -hmm. Alrighty, McFridays. Let's go. Line them up. Put two rows together. This, to me, seems the most logical and economical and ease-wise to do with a domestic machine to do this project, okay? That's, that, and, and it works, and it works for me, right? Now, here's where you want to kind of make sure you're coming really close to your stitches, your previous ones, or you're going to end up with a little hole. But don't panic. You get a hole, who cares? Come back with a couple little whip stitches and, and solve that sucker out. No big deal, okay? So, but, you know, sew what you want to sew first. Be comfortable with it. If you feel it needs to be tweaked or twiddled or twaddled, whatever, then go ahead and do so. But I think in the whole scheme of things, it is, it's going to, even the half have, has a lovely weight to it. Like it's got a nice weight to it already. So I'm like, ooh, I can't wait till it's finished. Because it'd be great summer quilt. It's great as a layer for winter because we all need that here in Ontario, Canada. So we need our layers. I had to wear my winter jacket yesterday morning for at morning crossing guard because it was that chilly. It was only three degrees Celsius. I could see my breath. Actually, I made one of the kids laugh. It was so funny. So, because you could just, just see your breath as you were sort of thing. And they were, they kind of didn't want to go to school and they were kind of fighting mom or not necessarily fighting, but being very reluctant to get out of the car and walk towards me and cross with me and so on and so forth. Right. So I said to them, I said, isn't today a perfect day? And they're like, and I said, for one, it's Friday. And two, I get to see my inner dragon. And they're like, looking at me. And I went, like a little roar. <laughs> Mom starts laughing. The kid's like, <sighs> it wasn't like, it was more like a half, half a breath. So not a lot of the puff came out. It was kind of funny. Like they were just learning to puff as a dragon. <laughs> and then they took a deep breath and went, <sighs> and I was like, it was, it was so funny. It made me laugh so hard. They're like, I'm a dragon. <laughs> the mom's like, thank you so much. I'm like, it was funny. It was, it was fun for me. I think that's really all that matters. <laughs> all right, so these two together, and then we'll pin the third row and then the fourth row as we're going along. Okay. Just enough to see your dragon. It was really cute, like, <laughs> and it just changed his attitude, like, completely, right? Like, it, or changed their attitude completely, so, um, to, to where they didn't want to really go to school. They were, like, happy to, you know, you know and the parent has to cross back with me, and they, they said, I hope you have a fantastic day. That, that changed things. <laughs> oh, actually, she said, that went way different than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I remember fighting with Munchkin to get him to school. So there was a time there he didn't want to go at all. So we'd go swimming in the morning, and I'd have to drop him off. That was that was before crossing guard, before uh, daily crossing guard. I was, I was a winter crossing guard for a few years first. So and I'd drop him off at, at school after we swam. So that's how I knew we got to school. And he was there all day. Well, you could use it for one of these projects there, Vicky Robles, that's for sure. That's this broadcloth is a perfect um, um, per project for this. Pedo soupling things left. Oh, no, it's gone. It's all gone. Mm -mm. It, was, it really, really was delicious there, Sass. The baked potato soup, that is definitely a repeat on mine um, for for go-to soupy stews because it's my, it's a season for me, for me to have hot cereals, um, soups. I had chicken noodle soup the other day, asked Pop if he wanted some, he said, no, but that doesn't mean I don't offer. 
You know, he can he can find his own food. There's stuff in the house. Nobody's starving to death, I assure you. Contrary to popular belief, but <laughs> it was really good. And the beans, there's only a tiny little bit of beans left from the beans with bacon. Oh, num num num. Tiny little bit. Turkey and zucchini and mushrooms. Well, we're, we're very excited. I did find a turkey. Oh, praise, praise the turkey gods. Uh, I found a turkey because Pop has been looking for one since like March. And I, you know, pulled a little few connections and went down to my local store and they took it from the freezer and gave it to me. So, and I said, they said, well, what size do you want? I'm like, you know, a, a half decent size, you know, so I can, I can have a, a good turkey dinner and for three and, and, and then maybe a turkey soup sort of thing, right? Or turkey stew or turkey pot pie or whatever, something else with the turkey. And so they gave me an eight, almost eight kilogram, eight kilogram turkey so but I did say I would like not I did say I wanted another one because um, November 26th is obviously the American Thanksgiving holiday but it's also my birthday so and it's only been twice that I know of that this has happened and I would like to celebrate with the turkey so when you guys are cooking a turkey on the Thursday we'll be cooking a turkey on the Thursday <laughs> So I did. I did put in my request for another turkey. So I may. I may get that before. Hopefully before Thanksgiving, it'll just sit in the freezer. So I said about the same size would would been fine. So I wasn't really going to complain at this point. I was just happy I got I got Papa turkey. I was so excited. I texted him. I'm like, I found you a turkey. And then he called me a turkey or something like that. But. <laughs> Uh oh, I still was wrong. Oh no, it's the three. I'm here trying, trying to line stuff up when it. Oh, oh yeah, it should have been. Yeah, here we go. Uh, uh, that's a good question. I haven't seen her, Miss Sass, nor was she on our uh, Thursday live stream. I know Tuesday she can't make because she's got stuff to do with church or her ladies, the the gang of uh, little hoodlums she hangs out with. Um, <laughs> I hope that makes her laugh if she's watching later. I really do. Um, <laughs> I can just imagine a little old gang of hoodlums of, of, of Gwenny Peeps. Um, uh, so I, I kind of was hoping we'd see her on the Thursday, but we didn't. Um, but I haven't, I haven't seen, I haven't seen her. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's up with her. I haven't seen, I haven't seen hiding her hair ever. Hope she's okay. Hope she's okay. All right, let's, uh, we'll pin one to one side and one to the other, and that way we can just put it under the machine and sew. How's that? How's that work for you, Batman? We have 27 wild turkeys that wander our neighborhood. Well, trap one for me, Zella. <laughs> well, there she is. We were talking about you. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. We're shopping with Deanna. Got her new feet and I got a dress for my niece's wedding got her new feet oh okay he's got some new shoes very nice very nice how's how's Mr. Pat I, I said he'd probably have you running ragged you're just tired <laughs> we were talking about you we were looking for and Miss Gwenny we we're missing Miss Gwenny here today too I'm sure we're missing a few more but they're just not saying uh that's weird Allison weird you just do a refresh or uh, you might have to reload, maybe. I don't know. That's a little crazy. All right. Well, we're going to be just putting the white fabrics together right now. And then we're going to add some colory bits once I get these guys sewn together. And then the little crisscross. Crisscross and make it jump, jump. There's a few people we's missing today. That's okay. Hopefully, hopefully everybody's okay. And they're, and they're just busy having fun. Having big fun on the bio. Oh, I 
my phone is I'm good. Okay, okay, good, good, good. It was weird, you know, because Linda came in and she said her screen was black, but then she just turned it off and turned it back on and it was okay. But that was on a tablet. It's hard to to say when people they're using different um, uh, devices to to view the stream. So, all right. So here's our four by four. Okay, that's building another quarter quadrant of our uh, block. It's so cute. I mean, if you can get these all going the right way, I can see this being scales. You know what I mean? Like layering them and then having like this one and then this one. And then when, when you moved, you would have that like scaly, feathery almost kind of look to it. That would be neat. That would be kind of funky. Because it's got all these that are all sealed up, right? Or you, you could hang like something from it, like tassels or something. And then it could be like this weird cosplay outfit. I don't know. You could be like the little water or bottle brush cleaner dude. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you could be the guy who washes the car. <laughs> you go under the car. I don't know. It could be your car wash outfit. At the car washer. I don't know. Duck and cherry sauce. I haven't had duck for years. Every time I, I crave duck, it's like Peking duck with the like the rice wrap and the green onions and a little bit of rice and uh, yeah, a scaly dragon look, right, Lisa? Yeah, that's what I, that's what kind of was reminding me of when you kind of when I held it up and looked at it in the in the, the camera, it uh, or on the screen, it was kind of reminding me of a bit of scale. or fishy scales or something. You could make it like a fishy costume or something. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe somebody be inspired by that tidbit of information and and run wild with it. You never know. Yeah, make a big dragon ball. Something, something similar, right? Or, or, or feathers, like it's maybe an owl. I think that would look really nice as an owl too, especially the chest pieces where they're all kind of meeting together. I think that would be kind of neat. flat a bit so I can kind of come close to that little gap. Like I said, don't panic if you have a little hole. Whip, whip it closed. Whip it good. Whip it closed. No problems. Yes, dragons are great. They totally are, Uta. Dragons have always been one of my very, very favorites. That's why I, you know, cross-stitched one for Pop. I know it was one of his favorite characters, you know, because he was. When I first met him, we were both reading like fantasy sort of kind of books, right? So I knew, you know, dragons. And actually, I think he was reading Lord of the Rings, not uh, uh, no uh, Game of Thrones when I think I first met him. So I was reading Stephen King, but I didn't really enjoy it. I don't. It, it, it was Tommy Knockers, and I didn't really enjoy the book. In fact, that was the last Stephen King book I read was Tommy Knockers. I was like, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. This ain't my bag, baby. <laughs> I need a different kind of book. <laughs> and then I went into, what did I, I read, I read more, um, like, documentaries. I love, I love things about history. I didn't in school, which is kind of really weird now, but anything to do with history. So I think I took up some, I don't know, a little, um, archaeological sort of diggy books and stuff like that and read about this and read about that and yeah so and then I got into um, I, obviously I met Pop and then met Pop's mom and then she got me into this other series we talked about books one day and and I wasn't an avid reader as a kid in fact I struggled with it but um, I obviously obviously learned how to read but when it comes to you at a later age in life than it does most other normal people or normal kids, right? It's, it always seems like you're set back, but you're not. You're not. You just have to move on and adjust. That's why it was so very, very, very top important 
that Munchkin learned to read as soon as he could recognize words was pretty much what it was. That's why we all, we read to him when he was a baby. We read to him uh, all, all the time, like even like first day, first day he was reading books in the hospital. So. Well, we get to add some color after this. this is my favorite. Well, no, we got to do some zigzaggity first, first, and then we get to add some color. <laughs> Sorry to get y'all excited. Are you doing trouble? You okay? You gonna be all right? You broke? Dying. You're dying. <laughs> Munchkin didn't get up to eat his breakfast, so now Pop's snacking on it. So, <laughs> snooze you lose, <laughs> especially in this place. <laughs> snooze you lose. All right, there's our little quadrant. Okay. Now we need to do some uh, pinning, so we can get these going here. Leaving our outsides to dangle towards the top because we want those to attach to the other side. But we definitely need like these three and this because we'll have to attach it to at least one, one side, well, two sides really, because one side's actually going to have to be another attached to it. So. Loved it and the eight part T. I don't think I. Mm, no, I don't remember the stand. Well, I remember seeing the book, but I don't remember. I don't think I read it. I don't think I read it. I think I remember the book cover, but. Yeah, I used to frequent a secondhand bookstore all the time, so that's where I used to get my books from. I used to buy them secondhand. There was no way I could afford a, um, a brand new copy to wait or way later in life for me. <laughs> It was all secondhand books or library. That's where I got my books from. You believe the History Channel? I, I love the History Channel. It's one of my favorites. And in fact, I've watched documentary. Actually, I watched a documentary on uh, Netflix the other night. I probably shouldn't have not before bed. <laughs> it was um, American Murder Family Next Door. It's about the. I forget his name. I don't even want to know it because he's he was such an evil dude. But uh, he ended up killing his wife and burying her and then putting his two daughters in an oil oil drum or something. And the fact he at the beginning when he's talking to the police because it's all video of of you know of him actually on camera and stuff like that. And the fact he's like, well, I don't know where she went. She must have went with somebody. Somebody must have taken her. I'm like, oh. And then to find out it was actually him, I wanted to come through the screen and do nothing <laughs> yes yes ass that's it yeah I wasn't I, I was I was gonna say maybe Chris but I wasn't entirely sure but yeah what a dude man what a dude and then to and and, and to have a life with someone else which he was never gonna have anyways because of what he did oh yeah yeah and and to kill his newborn baby too what a what a man like loser and the whole family just just fell apart i felt so bad for them yeah so anyways i had like dreams that night i was like oh, i shouldn't have watched this stuff before bed <laughs> so i had like fretful dreams and was, how, how could i have helped them of course you know not like i could have at all it's like 2018 but still it's still and those cute little babies my goodness I have all the Stephen King books and movies. Really? I know, I know. Right, Stitch Itch? That was horrible. It was just, water's like bacon is good for you. Exactly. <laughs> Hello, Hildy. Happy you're here. Happy you're here. Thank you all very much for your lovely comments that you always leave on our videos. It's very nice of you, Hildy. I appreciate it greatly of all the lovely things that you say. Okay, what 
let's let's pin well we pin these guys and then let's sew some of these down and then we'll pin some more okay llamas llamas i don't think i've done anything with llamas yet we did the the giraffe project remember that we did the giraffes that that was not uh, uh, my favorite. Just saying, that was not my favorite project. In fact, I kind of find it a little bit annoying. But it's okay. When I watch those kinds, I know I shouldn't, and I should. And the fact I knew it was true—that was the worst part of it. If I'm watching like Midsummer Murders or like Agatha Christie or something, I know it's just a story, right? Like I know it's. But this was like for real stuff. This guy did this, and that's just like. <sighs> What 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 went wrong in the functioning of the little to gray matter that caused this to happen, right? So, uh, hello, hello, Miss Robin, how you doing? So yeah, no, he's a he's a wackadoodle, whack job. What's, what's going on? Oh no, thanks. Oh yeah, more for day. He'd be happy. All right, now let's let's sew some of these down. So I'm having less pins to deal with, and then we'll kind of do some of those ones that are back there, okay? All right. Mm -mm. And we got our lovely little stack of Christmas fabric -y here. And some is not even so so Christmassy. I mean, like this green leafy one. I mean, that's just that's just nature. I mean, and seeing with this this green little plaid trees. I mean, that's that's just nature. I mean, right? So, oops. Need that one. Could use it. And obviously the red, the red flannel is just, it's just a red flannel. I mean, there's nothing too exciting about that. I mean, there's some snowflake fabric. I really like that. I wish I had more of that though. I really like that. I'd make myself some cute little face masks out of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love my guild family. What? Well, thank you, Miss Deborah. And our the guild loves you too. The guild. Fly away, Mr. Fly. Mm -hmm. Crime junkie podcast of real crimes. Ooh. I actually I what did I, what else is on Netflix? It's um it has them to, to do true crimes. I watched the, like the first two, and it was like like mafia stuff, and I was like, "Whoa, I don't know. That seems pretty intense." <laughs> At least it didn't go into major major details, though. <laughs> All right, get my old lady put specs on. Let's sew a little back and forth here. We just need to get, um, we need to get our pin cushion ready. Just need to get the tips. I'm not sure if you can see this. We need to get these tips right here that are sticking up that we folded and after we pressed, we need to get just those tips down because we need to take the rest of the fabric and we're going to fold it over our colored fabric, right? So that's we just need to get the tips, just the very tippy tips. So don't go, don't go crazy. As sometimes it's a tendency to do. Me. Okay. And then I don't always want to do all of them. I do want to do them towards the center, but I need to be able to add to this, right? So whether I got to add to the to the bottom and the side or the side and the whatever, but because I'm only doing um, I guess eight by eight at this point or rows of four by four sort of thing and I'm going to have to add more so I know I know that so I want to make sure I'm leaving the the ones the flaps that I need up to, to be to be left open right and I can always if I made a mistake and I can always just come pin it and sew it so it's not a big deal I'm just trying to leave all the way around at this point in time until I can figure out where I want it to sit against the other one and uh, how to line up the colors. 
but I don't have to line up the colors either. I can make it go so it goes into a V. I could do it so it's going like a, 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 a zig and a zag or a big V or something else. Like there's so there's other options to, to, to do with it. I don't have to, to line it up or make it as a progressive diagonal decrease from, you know, color to color or something like that, right? There's, there's options. You can, you can play with it any way you like. Now this could easily be done by hand too if you wanted to, you know, sit in front of the TV, watch a show or listen to a podcast or something like that. It is easy enough to just uh, hand stitch, you know. I don't tend to see, I have a tendency to wear a headset when I'm in the office because that's the only sound I have for my computer system in there, but I have my speakers out here, so for the, the TV, so that's why I use that. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, 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 I was going to go with the ones that I had pinned here already. Okay, let's go there. There we go. It's going to get poked. No pokey pokes. Yeah, our little little roosters are growing like crazy. Oh my gosh, they're so funny. So, um, actually, I, I think I found a way to um, make some money on two of them. One of the grandpas that goes to the pick up his munchkins at the school, he deals with like uh, pheasants and pigeons and all sorts of things, and he breeds them. He breeds them because they're specialty sort of things. So. His friend is going to like a fur and feathers sort of show at the uh, 31st of October. And he offered to take uh, any roosters I may have. Um, he said, I'll just put them in with my flock and, you, they, and the guy can sell them for you. And I said, well, I wouldn't even know what to ask. And he said, you know, ask for 10 bucks a rooster or five bucks a rooster. You know, what, what, you know, what do you want for it? And I'm like, well... Either that or I could learn to put them in freezer camp myself or stew camp, um, which, which I'm okay with. I need, I need to learn at some point in time how to dispatch a chicken. So, and it's, we can still pick off all the meats and the wings and, you know, so on and so forth and still make a lovely stock, uh, meat stock, as well as the meat goes, can go to us and, and to Sophie. So it's not like it's a waste. I haven't quite decided yet. I'm kind of iffy, iffy, iffy. Oh, <laughs> you're so sweet, Deborah. <laughs> you're so sweet. I didn't get any mailings out this week, so I'm so sorry I didn't get your your fabric mailed out. I didn't get anybody's patch, packages mailed out. I'm sorry. It's just one of those one of those weeks. All right, that's. 
how much progress we're making here. Okay, we only had a few to go. We were leaving some open, right? So we can make sure we can attach. What do we need to do? We've got to do a few here. I do this one, this one, this one, then this one, and this one. Okay, and then we can start adding some color. I know, I know, it takes a while, and 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 sorry, I appreciate your patience, but it's just all part of the task. Get that there, yes it did. Okay. Let me turn this better here. And I like it that you can work in like quadrants and still get this all done underneath your domestic machine. It doesn't require a really huge throat space or anything like that. And you could you can you can function. Corners. You can get all three in one stitch. That's awesome. I think. Oh no, I missed that one. I've been watching because I finished up Vera, and I finished up Miss Marple. And, and I have been watching a little bit of Sherlock Holmes, but also uh, Midsummer Murder season uh, 19 is where I, because I think we've watched 18. 18 looked familiar when I was reviewing it. So uh, I've been watching uh, Midsummer Murders time, uh, season 19. So that's what I've been watching this past couple of days. Okay, that got under there, that's good. That's good. Oh, oh, we might be ready for some color now. Oh, oh, no, well, it's flappy. This one's flappy. Okay. Just got to be careful when you're maneuvering it with your foot because of all the little folds of fabric, right? We don't want to... We don't want to rip anything or even hurt our machine by yanking it in a direction that it, it, it's not meant to go. Dark out in Finland, says Carrie. <laughs> I bet it is. We had a beautiful harvest moon on Thursday night. It was gorgeous. It was raining, but I did happen to see it. I had Sophie out just before I went to bed, and uh, it was pretty. It was a nice big moon. Okay, I think we caught everybody in the pool. That looks like it. Okay, now, oh, 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 sorry, oh, let's move this over here. Pull this down. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. We'll try and line it up against this side. Because I'd like to see some more of these snowmans that I got going on here in the green. Okay, now I'm not I'm not gonna stitch this. I just wanna see what it's gonna look like. Okay, because I need to work those pieces in these spots now. So this would be one, obviously. Because I'll have to attach the bottom one down there. Of course, leave the top up here. So here we have this. So that one would go in here. And I'm only just going to pin it. I know I can't sew it right now because it's there. But I can visually just pin it. So I know that one goes there. And as I'm making my progress down the quilt, here, here. 
end here. Oh, that one didn't get cut. That's okay. There. We can put our other green. It doesn't matter which way our trees are going because they're all over the place. Right? Do, 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 do. Okay. And we can take our snowman. So this would be here, this would be here, this one would be here, okay. And we can take our reindeers, okay, he can't be stitched together because we're there. And let's take our other, here, there we go, this guy here, this snowman, because he would be, I guess the section here, here. Here, maybe we could mix that color with something else. Because mm. we need some more of those snowmans. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> okay, here. Let, oh, here's there so far. We can move that one down. Okay, so here, let's pin this to here, because I know that's where that belongs, and I know this is where this one belongs. And then let's, uh, let's, let's pin these guys here and see if I can cut myself a couple more of these little snowmans. Uh, I guess I need two more to finish off that section there, okay. And then we'll sew all those, okay. So let me just flip that for a second. Find my ruler and my kata. Put everything over here. Move this down. Hope everybody's having a great day today. It's a beautiful Saturday. Like I said, next week is our Thanksgiving here. One, two, three, four, five and a half. So we're going to be probably, you'll see some of maybe of our prep stuff on the Saturday of what we got going on, or maybe I've all made my pie already, or because I've already got the ingredients for the pumpkin pie. I'm sure Pop was very happy to see that the other day <laughs> when I came home. Two, three, four, five. I was like, all right, I'm getting myself a pumpkin pie. <laughs> there we go, here and here. Okay, now let's pin those. All right. All right, I'm gonna take a, like a, a fraction of a moment break to just get some uh, refreshments. So I'll be right back, okay? Don't go anywhere. Here we go. 
sorry. So now what we would do is we put our square right in the center and we take our white fabric and we fold it over the raw edge, sealing everything up. Now, if you wanted to, you could put a square of batting under here and quilt it. And it would be like a, a puffy little quilt as you went in these little sections. And but these sections would just be like the two layers of fabric, right? So. Tuck in all the raw, all the raw edges. And that's what helps in finish this as we're going. Like it's like we're done after we're done putting it together. We don't have to do anything more to it. You could quilt it, but I think it would make it way too heavy. I mean, if you were making some really epic wall hanging, you probably could quilt it, but then you'd really, really want to quilt it, so it pretty much stood up on its own. And I'd probably use definitely smaller squares, not the big ones here. You know, pin a bunch of these and then sew a bunch of these and just make some progress on this beautiful project. I'm happy you're all here to sew along with me or hang out with me. I have all the Harry Potter movies on DVD <laughs> and all Lord of the Rings on DVD. <laughs> so when the internet goes out, I got at least two of my favorite movies I could watch if I wanted to. I guess movie series, I should say, it's movie series. I even got the, what is it, the Beasts, the last one. Though I've, I've kind of watched it once, but it was really just background music, or background noise, so I'll actually have to sit, sit and watch it, or watch it again to catch things. Hello, Miss Bernadette. Indeed, how is Ireland today? I'm sewing along making a scrappy two and a half inch something or other. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that, that, those are the best. Those are the best. Scrappy something or others. You betcha. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, light rain a little bit here. We got some yard cleanup we want to do and still a last little bit of the yard burning stuff. There's just a little bit, maybe a couple hours worth of... Uh, uh, burning to do so that'll definitely tidy up for the winter and we'll leave the rest of the stuff for spring to deal with so but we're pretty much we're prepping for snow right at this point because there's just no prediction of when it's going to happen and when it happens it's around here for months so and if you want to bury something then this is a good time to go bury it in the snow <laughs> So it, it won't ever be seen until springtime. 
because that's what happens to things you leave in the snow or leave out in the yard to get buried in the snow. Yeah, so there's lots of lots of lots of cleanup around the chicken coop and um, the lawn needs to be whacked. All sorts of, uh, and uh, uh, some spots need to get mowed and just tidied up just a little bit. So, you know, when it does hit, we're not going, oh, well, what happened to whatever? Oh, well, it got put beside the coop and, you know, now it's under the snow. Mm -hmm. Hello, Annie O. I'm happy you're here too. Thanks for hanging out with us on Thursday. That was really nice. Mm -hmm. Had to run out of wild bird seed this morning. I had. No. Oh, I had run. Oh, birds were lined up on the wall in the trees. <laughs> Where's our food lady? <laughs> Hello, buffet. Are you open? <laughs> And the, the other birds are talking to me. I don't know, honey. I think the buffet might be closed for today. I don't know. Did you get a notice? I didn't get a notice. No, no, no. It must be open. Let's just chirp away. <laughs> but like tap, 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 tap. Hello, lady. <laughs> I think you forgot something. <laughs> Food for the little birdies. <laughs> Hello, toners. How you doing? Uh, let's pin these guys here. We'll put these ones off to the side. We know it's it's the here. Actually, you know what? So we don't get confused because you know we like shiny objects and all. Let's just put those in the center, and then we'll sew a little bit of these, and then come back to pin. Okay. Uh, well, that's gonna pretend it's there because we have to sew it. Uh, do. Finish these guys here. Mm. Bless you, Munchkin. Couple sides, and then so are tapping out the SOS on the side of the house that they could get fed. <laughs> they took it fed on time. Yeah. I I do hear them. They're like, wah, wah. <laughs> you can always tell. They're always hanging out like gate. I'm like, okay, what's going on? They got they got lettuce, beets. Uh, tomato bits, uh, what else did they get this morning? They got, uh, oh, broccoli, broccoli. Um, what else was looking kind of sad in the fridge? There was a couple things that were looking sad in the fridge and I just tossed it in the bucket and put it out to them. So I do that first thing in the morning because then by the time the end of day, they've pecked at everything and there's no, nothing that's going to attract any other critter from the smells of the house. You know what I mean? So... Or the smells of goodness. So, oh, they had some. They had some baked potatoes. That's what they had. But that was it. There was nothing else on them. There wasn't butter or anything, or you know, or anything that would have harmed them or anything. It was just baked potatoes. But they were sitting in the fridge for a while. So I don't want them. All right, let's do some sewing. Let's get these one, two, three, four, five, six done, and then we'll work on the other ones. Okay. Mm-mm. 
Mm, it seems really dark for some reason, but it's not. It's really not. It's not that dark. Hello, Sue Smith. I'm having a great afternoon so far. Oh, Miss Gwenny finally shows up. <laughs> we were worried about you, girl. I know it's kind of stalkerish of us, but we were worried about you. And I, I'm only kidding about the finally shows up part. We're happy to see you here. Thank you. Thank you for thank you for coming up with us today and joining us. I love it. I know, isn't Snowman Fabrics one of my favorite, Vanessa? I love snowmans. That's because it's so much fun. You know, what else are you going to do at Christmas time? I'm not a skier. I was at one point in time, but not, I mean, in my very young teenage age. Uh, I think that had more to do with because I was a volunteer at the 88 Olympics. That's the only reason why I liked the skiing uh, part or tobogganing or whatever. So, uh, but I like, I certainly like to build a snowman. I certainly do like to build a snowman. And it's not just because Olaf wants to build a snowman. I like to build a snowman. Yeah, snowmans are my favorite about Christmas and winter and everything else like that. For when you can put them in these cool hats and bow ties and, and scarves and mitts and, you know, and stick arms. And you can do, you can do all sorts of fun and interesting things with a snowman. He, there's no wrong snowman, I don't think, so... Sure, all those raw edges are in. Okay. Do -do. Stitch right close to that curve for the white fabric. And that seals it all in and it's done. Mm -hmm. Next. Let's move that down so we don't hit the head of the pin as we're trying to come over this way. This is up here. Now, you could totally use like a red thread or a green thread or something like that if you really wanted it to, to show out and be really so creative. But I really like the way the white blends. I think I don't think it takes away from any of the blocks, so that's why I chose white. I did contemplate. I had green. I had some nice winter green I could have used. And I'm like, eh, I don't know. That'll just take away from the blocks. I don't want to take away from the blocks. So it's definitely a good idea if you wanted to use it, you could. It's a different colored thread. Use a complementary thread, contrasting thread. Use a variegated thread. Oh, a variegated green or red thread, I think it would be nice. Or even like a gold or silver, especially if you had like a concentrated of those sorts of colors in your Christmas collection. I don't know. Gravy, Sue. Don't even go there. <laughs> the sock dilemma in this house is astronomical. I am, I have to say, I am fed up with this sock dilemma. I have bought socks and they don't show up. I put seven in the wash, one comes back up. I don't get it. I, I, between socks and underpants, they are the, the dilemma in this house, let me tell you. And it, it irks the bejeebies right out of me. And especially at a season now where I need the socks. I need the socks every single day, not just, oh, I need one pair of socks for the week. No, I need seven pairs of socks. One every day of the week. So where are my socks? Oh, 
They have to. They have to. Oh, my God. I get so upset and so irritated. Like, as you can tell. <laughs> can you tell? Can you tell? Does it look bad? <laughs> did, you, did you get that feeling? <laughs> Oh, uh, sorry, daughter phone tried to sign on here and the computer problems, which made me also miss Thursday stream. I busy Tuesdays, so one Thursday I'll have a stream and I can't get. Oh, I was hoping you were gonna show up yesterday. Uh, not yesterday, but on Thursday. I was like, oh, maybe Miss Quinny will be here because I know she's busy Tuesday. So, well, I didn't know. I don't know why you couldn't get on. That's not good. That's not good. Quinny needs her fix. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you can tell it's certainly getting colder here at night and stuff like that. We might even have to contemplate turning on the heater at some point in time. Be right back. Have to unlock, unhook Pat from his anti. Oh, fun stuff. I'm sure not for him. Well, I'm sure he's feeling better, though. Uh, just watching without chat. One has to guess what question L is answering. Yes, yeah, she is taking, <laughs> talking a truck or a bird. <laughs> <Talking>. <laughs> Is it, is there always a mystery around here? <laughs> Just never know. <laughs> Keep you on your toes. There's a test later, people. <laughs> you better be paying attention. <laughs> oh, it's is it Mitchell's birthday today? Oh, very nice. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. You belong in a zoo. No, kidding. <laughs> you look like a monkey and you act like one too. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I'm kidding on the monkey part. <laughs> Obi has an amazing day. Definitely. Filled with his favorite things and hugs and loves and then sums. <laughs> Three years! Oh my gosh! Just think of all the years of trouble he's got ahead of him and all the guidance we can give him. <laughs> Just think, people. We have influenced this little one in his three years so far. Such a cute little munchkin, too. I know, three weeks, right? So exciting. That's, that'll be nice to have the birthdays close together, too, right? Be a party and then a party, or you can have shared parties and stuff like that. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Ever, ever since I met Pop, I would always thought, oh, I love shared parties, you know, like, because it'd be nice to share the party between the two of us, right? You know, when, when Lois and Pat came up last year and stuff like that. It was nice to celebrate both of our birthdays together, even though they weren't quite, quite on the days. But it was very nice. I'm fine with sharing. I don't mind sharing. Interpretation, exactly right. What? <laughs> Guess what? Well, I don't know. 
You're kind of fully loaded there, lady. <laughs> you might be full of trouble. <laughs> Start pinning some more here because I think I am done. What? Oh no, one more, one more. There we go. Is this green one here? And you can make a a lovely wall hanging in no time. You can make a lovely pillow for someone like this. A couple of Christmas fabrics and putting a little extra effort into something really unique and beautiful, so. <laughs> it lays in, it's okay, you're loud there, Miss Ellie. Don't you worry, big hugs to you. you. Just chillax. Chill out and relax, chillax. It's getting low. I'll fold that under. Fabric under. Just trying to seal all those raw edges. Uh, we'll watch replay. Everyone have a wonderful. Oh, you too, Lisa. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Appreciate your company. All right, now we get to some more pinning. Okay, 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 okay. All right. There you go, not bad. Let's pin these guys here and uh, and then continue on. Okay. Back down here. What are we at? Uh, 246. Okay, we got some time. We got some time. In some cases, I'm finding that this block is just a little big, and in other cases, it's just the perfect size. So you're going to try and have to twiddle and fiddle with it to fit what you like. But for this 18 by 18 cut, you're looking at between a 5 and a 5 and a quarter cut for the centers. And I love it that it's finished. Like once... Like, if we were to put batting under here, like, it doesn't matter. I, I would like to do one with batting, and I think that would be a nice little extra, like, a, almost like a 3D-ish kind of wall hanging. I think it would be cute in, in small, small little, little, little chunks of fabric, like maybe two inches. That would be all right. So. Only two more infusions, and you can get his P-I-C-C, -C, or pick line out. Yes, yeah, pick line. Pick line. Indeed, and you got to get it in the right spot, or it doesn't do any good. Love this blue snowman fabric. There wasn't a lot of it, that's why I really wanted to use it, and that's why I chose that other um, snowflake blue to go in between because I knew there wasn't going to be enough to to make a whole a whole um, like a line of it. Some I knew would have have enough, but some wouldn't, and I'd have to mix and match. Oh. Look, there's a tiny little hole right there. Did you see me panicking? Nope. Okay. 
So, uh, any of our Canadian friends, when are you celebrating Turkey Day next week? Are you do saving it for the Monday? Are you having it on the Saturday? Are you having it on the Sunday? Are you having it at all? We are having it on the Sunday because we want to just kind of relax on the Monday. We don't want to have to have to cook a turkey. And it's it, it's kind of labor intensive. I mean, at some points, I mean, it is. You know, ask Pop because that's, that's his thingy. I just kind of help out. I make the breadcrumbs. I, I help out with the the stuffing and whatever and making the cranberry sauce and stuff like that. But he's all he's all the turkey man. He he takes it and he cuts it apart and he puts it in the brine and everything else and 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 yeah. And we just kind of help make sure there's some sweet potatoes and some regular potatoes and obviously the stuffing and some beans. We got some beans. I'm very, very excited for turkey dinner. Of course, gravy. Mm. Oh, really? No turkey? Oh, I wish we could share with you. We're having a turkey no matter what. Are you kidding? I found one. I was so excited. <laughs> I text Pop right away. I found a turkey. <laughs> He's probably like, yeah, you are a turkey. <laughs> I was I was very very excited to find a turkey that we could have. So, and I really like the stuffing. I like the turkey stuffing. It's one of my favorites. Harvest feast in the church. Well, that's nice. That's nice. What do you have? What, what's what's your normal of your harvest feast? Is it just normal vegetables, or just like a pig or a lamb or some sort of you know? Um, protein rich animal that's been you know that that goes along with it. I don't, I don't know. Just asking. Not sure what day turkey is going to be on. It's hubby's cooking, so he has to decide. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I think I think it just works out better for us. I think if we're having it on the Monday, that way, like I said, we can kind of just chillax on the on the Monday. Uh, sorry, on the Sunday, so we can chillax on the the Monday. So, because I still have my regular video schedule stuff that I have to keep up on, which means you know doing a, a longer Wednesday or two longer Wednesdays or what have you, and so. Yeah, we're excited for that next weekend. Definitely. Now, some people may think that this is, this is time consuming, but when you think of you don't have to put the batting in and you don't have to put the backing in and you're all done once it's finished, really it's not. You're kind of putting all your time in now. That's the thing. Aw, thank you, Laura. I appreciate that. Thank you very much for saying those nice words. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just want to keep all those raw edges inside. Okay. Apparently, uh, one of the fans of the channel sent me a message and said they tried the cathedral window in another pattern about 20 years ago and got so frustrated with it, only put two together, like two of these little sections together because it was so frustrating, and said they really wish they'd seen this, what I have been doing here, uh, then, or they, it would have been done by now. So they, they're, they're almost contemplating whether they can take what their stash that they have right now and change it to what I have adapted to. And, and then they, we could, they can finish their project. So they, they've been wanting to finish it and they know it's beautiful and they're small pieces. I think they said they were, um, two and a half inch, uh, squares. So I'll have to leave that one there. So I'm hoping to be able to see that. I'm, I'm happy it has encouraged some people to take on a task that they've always wanted to. It's always been on my list. I just, to me, I was like, oh, that looks really, 
like intense. <laughs> I don't I don't know if my little pea brain can handle this, you know what I mean? <laughs> no one said I had to be cute and smart. Like come on, people. <laughs> but I, I did. I managed I managed I managed to wrap my brain around it. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good in this hood. I had waffles for breakfast today. Oh, so good. I made pea male bacon for everybody, but only Pop and I eat it because Munchkin didn't get his butt up in time. So, so Pop ate his pea male bacon <laughs> as a snack <laughs> or something. I don't know. Okay, last one to pin. There we go. And then we'll sew these down. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I, I'm hoping to have like a couple of turkeys this year. One on my birthday would be nice. Celebrate Turkey Day with you guys and my birthday. I'd be like turkey and my favorite birthday cake. Be like, yay, a win-win for me. Mm -mm -mm. I'll take that. I'll take that all the way. With a knife and a fork. <laughs> Hello, Miss Nadine. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? I want to try that bacon, but don't want, uh, but don't know what to get. That bacon. What bacon? Chocolate cake. <laughs> Are you trying to sneak out my famous recipe there, Annie O? Is that what you're trying to do? Sneak out my chocolate cake. <laughs> Maybe for Pop's birthday. We actually have a stream on Pop's birthday. We do, we do. That's November 21st. We stream on Pop's birthday. Him be gonna be old fart. <laughs> All right, let's sew these ones down, and then let's uh, we'll figure out what we're doing with the rest. How's the French going? Oh, très bien, merci, Hali. Bonjour, comment ça va? Oh, pin cushion. All right. I like it when we make some progress here. I'll check you after. Oh, you got thread in you. No worries. Blizzard right now. What? Oh my goodness. Not so soon. Not so soon. That's again, I think it was Wednesday morning. No, it must have been Tuesday morning. Or Thursday morning. Munchkin says it's snowing outside. I'm like, what? It wasn't. It was his own imagination snowing. Oh, going crazy. <laughs> cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> yeah.
Oh my gosh, traffic jam. It's a one way road, what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> right, Annie <-o. laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I did. Well, breakfast, really. <laughs> I made a female bacon. Female bacon is like a, a smoked de ham kind of chunk with then rolled in cornmeal. And then you just kind of pan fry it. I, I usually put it in the oven on like a bake. I put uh, a couple of pieces just to bake and then a couple of pieces I drizzled a little bit of uh, maple syrup on. So, and then just baked them and that was, that was pretty much breakfast. So I was going to make some eggs uh, and then I realized we had no eggs. No, actually I was going to make, what was I going to make? Oh, I was going to make German pancake or Dutch boy or Dutch baby, whatever you guys call them. Um, and then I realized I had no eggs and then I was like, oh, well, I can make, oh no, I can't make pancakes. I need eggs. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, we're just having female bacon. <laughs> That's what we're having today. Can't say I didn't try. <laughs> hey, you snooze, you lose around here, Miss Helly. <laughs> you don't get up in time. Your, your food quota gets munched. Because someone's going to go, oh, look, it's still here. <laughs> I'm going to eat this now. <laughs> That's Pop's philosophy. You don't get up in time, you miss out. <laughs> Chicken feathers blowing in the window. I don't know about that. He was, he was, he was, uh, I don't know what he was doing. I think he was just up too early or something. <laughs> Things were looking fuzzy for him <laughs> through the chicken window. over top of each other here to keep that raw edge tucked in and then folded not being very cooperative at the moment but that's okay we're just gonna work it we're just gonna we're gonna tweak it the best we can yeah some parts of Ontario are expected to have snow this weekend um, or it would have been probably this morning, if not tomorrow morning. And then some just have frost warning and stuff like that. So, which we're on to the frost warning part. So, which means I have to go check my tomatoes. I did grab some fresh ones for dinner the other night, Thursday night's dinner, when we had the, um, uh, taco fries, taco fries for dinner. Yeah, I think Munchkin was hoping for, like, soft tacos for dinner, but then when I said that we were having fries, he was like, oh, yeah, there we go. Taco fries? We're having taco fries? <laughs> so happy. I love it when they get happy. Oh, yeah, he didn't get up until well after the stream was going here today, people. You know what time that starts? 1 p.m., so. Which is a little irritating because he's responsible for making sure everybody gets lunch today, and, uh... I can I can assure you, I know I could have fended for myself when the time came to it because there was no other choice, but that doesn't def that doesn't um, defeat the point of he's supposed to be up doing his tasks and his jobs when he needs to. And no, I didn't get lunch today because Marcus didn't make it for me because that's part of his task to do. He's got like three jobs. Garbage recycle. Put the chickens in at night and making sure lunch is made on a Saturday. Uh, that's a pretty darn good life for a 24 year old who lives at home for free. So.
Office is busy tomorrow. Well, that's good. That's good. You want to be busy. It makes time go by fast. I know what to eat, right? <laughs> well, exactly. Yes, everybody. I, I do too. I'm the one who's making the dinner and 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 scrubbing the toilet and scrubbing the tub and the sink and mopping and vacuuming and you know going to work and dealing with the chickens and everything else. Like my list is far bigger than anybody else's. I can tell you that. Oh, we had a pin stuck in here. We did. We did. Oh, we went right through that pin. Oh, what a good needle. Now we're going to have to change it. Uh-oh. Where's our snips? We've got a problem. All right. Let's see if we stitch okay. If we have any problems, we'll have to change our needle. Uh, we're all right. Keep going. Well, it's just French fries. You make French fries and you just do the meat seasoning, but instead of putting it all on a taco, you put it all on top of the French fries. Mm. Peas and a cup of chicken left. Oh, that sounds good. Mac and cheese. Yum, yum. I like the mac and cheese. Yeah, that's, that's taco fries. It's pretty much, you know, instead of having... Uh, yeah, yeah, we do, Vanessa. We had a problem. We sewed right through the pinhead. <laughs> <laughs> well and, and so do i i have a full-time and a part-time job so why doesn't that make me exempt right but it doesn't it just adds more to the list cushion Smoked pork chops, mac and cheese. Oh, mac and cheese kind of day apparently for you people. <laughs> I I missed the memo. <laughs> I didn't I didn't make no mac and cheese. <laughs> when? No, no, that was macaroni salad. Oh, did you? Oh, all right. Well, I I blame pop then. <laughs> Because I can. Isn't it? Very, very beautiful. We're going to sew these little bits on here and then we're going to have to attach it because I need to know what else is going where. And, um, and, uh, and I'm okay with that. It'll look a little wonky at first, but that's all right. <laughs> Do you want to say it was it was like three degrees this morning? Oh no, sorry, minus one degrees this morning there, Allison. I'll trade you. <laughs> yeah, minus one when I went to go let the chickens out. I was like, woo! Because the there was a bit of frost on the deck and it was a little slippery underneath my shoes. Or underneath my runners. That's why I was like, oh, okay. Be careful. Oh, macaroni salad is delicious there, Miss Hildy. You just wait till Thursday's Home and Hearth video. You'll, you'll get a chance to see macaroni salad. It's one of, one of, one of Pop's mom's recipes. 
Mm-hmm. Indeed. All right. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. That's so, so pretty. Okay, all right. Let's take this out. Okay. And we're going to line it up with the one we got. Okay. And I think I had it this way, wasn't it? This way? No. No, that's not gonna be it. Oh, maybe. I don't remember how I lined this up the first time around for Pete's sake. I knew I should have made a mark. Oh, such nub sauce. Such a nub sauce looper. No, because that doesn't line up. Does it? Maybe it does. Oh, it does. Okay. I was having a brain fart there. <sighs> Maybe. I'm not sure, Sassalette. Might be. Macaroni salad. I mean, pasta salad. But we put tuna in ours. I know. Aren't they so cute? They're, they're, they're sharing. I love them. Hello, Lydia. Happy you're here. Hello, Lena. I was mixing stuff. Did I miss something? I don't know. Did you? <laughs> Did you ever answer the question about whether you sent me that panel or not? Or maybe you didn't see it. It was at, towards the beginning of the stream. I showed it off. I thought it was, you sent me the one with the, the crow, the crow in the cages, I'm sure. I'm sure it was you. Tuna, no. <laughs> Canned tuna is not my favorite, but I do enjoy it in macaroni, uh, Pop's mom's macaroni salad. We'll, we'll call it Nana's macaroni salad because we need to give it a name, so we'll call it Nana's macaroni salad because uh, Munchkin called her Nana. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, it, it wasn't my favorite until I had hers. And I'm like, hey, wait a second here. This is, uh, this is like the bomb diggy stuff here. Uh, I, I like that. So, yeah, she had, she had, uh, yes, got the message. Oh, okay. Oh, uh oh. Okay. Weird. Okay, it's on. Hello? Did it overheat? Uh, weird. Uh, we got nothing. Hold on, let me check the power. One second. Oh, no, somehow it came unplugged. Whoopsies. Oh. Ow, ow. Should be okay there. And there. Okay, we'll, we're going to take a quick little potty break. So take a quick little, grab a water, grab a tea, let the dog out, go for a pee, whatever. Be right back.
All right, back, back, back. Quick party break. So what we're doing is we're going to attach our other little quarter panel to our half just so we can make sure we're lining up things so we can finish up the day. <laughs> well, I hope Mitchell has a fantastic day. He enjoys his third little birthday. Before all chaos breaks loose, he's not the only little munchkin anymore. Okay, let's sew those on. <laughs> He's your homie. <laughs> your homie. <laughs> You're my homie. I'll take it. Oh, oh, oh. Pull my thread out. All right. Get these guys pinned and we can line up our other colors and finish them off to, to continue from one side to the next. <coughs> and we'll just work on those little squares one at a time to finish them up. under back under more work at least it was only a little bit wasn't too too bad could have been worse these all back in the pin cushion because we don't want them places they're not supposed to be. Okay. Mm. Need more counters? Oh, I ran out of bobbin counters that we were talking about. <laughs> Open. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's gonna look so pretty. That's gonna look so pretty once we get those little gappy bits fun done up. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with that. It looks gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so pleased. So pleased. Okay, so we need to pin the this guy here. Okay, and this guy here. All right, and we need this guy here. And these guys here. That looks beautiful. <clears throat> Once you get a, bit, a few of the bits and bobs together, it's looking it's looking awesome. So that piece will go there. This piece, I think, was up here. We had a tree for here. Where did the tree go? I'm pretty sure we had a tree for there. Maybe it was a fir tree. 
Get it? Tree four? Tree four? Tree four there? Tree four tree? <laughs> okay, yep. Tough crowd today, people. Tough crowd. <laughs> oh, I think that was uh, supposed to be up there. Where's the tree? Oh, oh, here's the tree. Tree fell. The tree fell. Did anybody hear it? In the forest. Okay, so that goes there. That's okay. And then we got another one down here. So let's pin that one so we can get these guys all lined up here of where they need to be. Okay, so let's move those and those out of the way. Let's just move those together. Okay, scoot down our connection. Connect these guys. Okay. Oh, thank you guys. I appreciate it. I really do. I'm learning on this one. I learn with lots of, lots of things, but, you know, as, as we are, we're learning together. Learning how to expand our little talents. Expand and improve. Okay, so let's sew these little bits right here, and then we can start placing those squares that we need to, okay? <coughs> Definitely need to give this project. Uh, look for, and I'm going to suggest because it takes so much fabric of the backing, look for something either really, really cheap on sale of a broadcloth that you can go and grab like 15 meters of it and just be happy to have enough to make a really big quilt plus uh, a project or something else afterwards or whatever, or binding or what have you. Um, and then you're just finishing it off all at once. Or look in the Sally Ann's, the Salvation Armies, the, all the thrift stores and stuff like that for sheets, white sheets. You can bleach the sheets to a similar color and then just cut all that, uh, cut everything you need out from the sheets. So, And you can find a nice color. I mean, a blue, a black, a gray, anything like that. Bigger squares, little squares, whatever you like to do. I liked I like this nice big one to show off all we got going on, you know, like it's pretty. It's pretty stuff. My pretty Christmas fabric and I really want it to be showcased with not having the, the snowman or penguins or snowflakes or deer be getting all chopped up that you can't even tell what it is. So Well hi there Popesies, what you doing? You can say hi to peoples? Well guys hi to peoples. Hello, Popsies. Big stretch. Big stretch. Come on. Come on. Come on, old lady. There we go. Hi. Hi. Hello. You such a bunch of puppies. Oh, is that swaps? Yes, you are. <laughs> Hi. Hello. What's it doing? You good? Are you good, Rofi? Hi. I love you too. I love you too very much. Yes, I do. <laughs> She's so lovely, aren't you? Isn't she lovely? Isn't she fur ballers? Isn't she pretty? <laughs> Isn't she so colorful? <laughs> so fluffy. <laughs> I know, I know. So is that how I got the spot? Do I got the right spot to scratch? I do, don't I? Don't I? Hmm? <laughs> Are we good? Are we good for now? Hmm? Are we good for now? Yeah? No, no, no. We are? Or are we good? We're good? Okay. <laughs> Gotta love that looking at you. <laughs> yeah. I think she might need one too there, Lois. Lois says you need a cookie, Sophie. What do you think? Okay, let's go get you one. Let's go get you one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, come over here. Put a little sauce on it. Come in so people can see you have you enjoy your little cookie. You don't think I'm eating your cookie. There you go. Yeah. Ready? Up. Good girl. <laughs> crunch, 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 crunch. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Mindy. I love her every day. She's my favorite puppers. Absolutely. Did you did you chew it, or did you just inhale it? Are you okay? Do you need the hind leg maneuver? No. 
Go get something to drink. Something to drink. Yep. Over to drink. Drink. Water. Water. You're almost there. <laughs> you almost had it. You gonna be okay? <laughs> I know she's so sweet. Uh, I don't dread getting mail from you at all. <laughs> In fact, I still have one to send to you. I'm like, oh, I really wanted to get everything out today, uh, today, this week, and I didn't get anything out. I didn't get any packages out this week. It's like it's just it's just not my time right now for some reason. I, just, I had I had one of those kind of like toughy weeks. It just happened. I, it's it all kind of went downhill when I didn't get the rest I was looking for on the Sunday. Uh, you know, after the twelve hour live stream, it, it takes a lot out of you. It really does. And I just wanted to sit back and ra rest and relax, and I didn't get any of that. There was there was none of that happening. So it kind of threw my whole week off. And then Pop not being here for two days, too, kind of threw me off as well. I think I need one more to do down here. One little piece. There we go. I think we can line up a few more squares. Finishing the binding? What? Get it done. Get it done. Don't be on the run. Get it done. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, I think we got those ones set. Let's put in our uh, squares that are joining the two sections together here, or this, the top section together here. I can pull these out. That was my little side cloth here. Well, actually, I have I have a horse a horse blanket here. I need to add some fabric to and put a hood on. <laughs> I figured you'd appreciate that, Annie. -O. I could show you actually the what the model she gave me. It's actually quite big. But Sophie was sniffing it like crazy. She really wanted to know what what, what big dogs were those. <laughs> Are you going to eat? You can eat. You can eat, Sophie. I'm not telling you you can't eat. You go right ahead there, pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, she gave me one to go as a guideline and then another one to, to, to add to. So I have to uh, cut a hole in the top and then put like, um, you know how you have sweatshirt, that cuff, that knitted little cuff? She wants that around that so it's the pummel or the hand or the, is it the pummel? No. The saddle handle. Is that a pummel? No, it's not a pummel. Mm, the saddle handle, anyways, can come up through that. So, yeah. So I, I have to do that too. She said she might have a sweatshirt at home I could recycle. So I told her to, to th think, look, and then bring it to me if she could. Horn, horn, thank you. Thank you, saddle horn. Oh, jeez. Thank you, Lois. Just having a brain fart there. I like pretty much all colors too there, Mindy. Um, there, I don't think there's a color that I don't really like. I mean, I didn't like pink at first for a long time, but I think that's just because I'm the youngest girl and I didn't want everything to be pink. All pink hand-me-downs, so. <clears throat> also called the pummel there? Okay, so I was right. I was, uh, just different words for it, okay. For some reason, pummel was coming to mind and then I'm like, well, maybe no, maybe I'm thinking I'm pummel as in, you know, that, thing that you rub against the bottom of your feet when you have, you know, you've got chaffy feet and you want to get the skin off. I mean, isn't that a pummel too? Oh. I don't know. Is it education day here at the quilt shop? <laughs> what is what? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm, I'm having fun putting this together. I really am. And like I said, it's been on my list for a very long time, probably about 20 years. And I'm sure it could be better in a few spots and I may come back and tweak or since it's just probably going to be for me, this will be the first one. So it'll probably just stay here in the collection of, you know, Laurel and learning. 
same with the Bargello and and all the and some of the other quilts. Just it's me learning. It's not perfect. Not every quilt is perfect anyway. Not it. Not really any quilt is perfect. But you know, to to strive for perfection sometimes is you know, you're striving for the impossible. There we go. Turn this one up. Oh, pumice stone. Okay, there we go. Not pummel. Okay, pumice. Okay. I knew I had to pee. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. <laughs> I knew it was something. <laughs> but for pummel, for some reason, it was a foot. Uh, I have colors I don't like, but again, when they are put together in the right order, uh, right, with other colors. Oh, I totally agree there, Heli. That's why some of those uh, scrappy projects, I'm looking at the fabric going, eh, I don't know. But when you mix it with this fabric and this fabric and this fabric and, you know, you put it on this or that and, and you mix it up and it really does look good. You know, like the Majestic Mountains. There was a few fabrics in there I wasn't so thrilled about, but... Looking at the majestic mountain quilt top now, it's like, oh wow, that's that's oh, wow, that's really pretty. You know, that's that's quite lovely. But you have to mix those colors together. It's like a painter's palette, right? You gotta you gotta mix the colors. Not everybody's gonna like the chartreuse, and not everybody's gonna like, you know, Van Dyke brown and stuff, right? And I'm totally quoting, you know, uh, Bob Ross there. Um, and his colors he chooses for his beautiful landscapes. Okay, we need one for up here. Do we do we have him cut? I don't think we had him cut. No, we need another five and a half up here. So let's do that guy. And then we'll do a deer down there. There, there's the deer down there. Okay. The deer down there. Yeeha! All right, let's get another five and a half out here. I'm not going to make it out of that one. That's all I have. It's all there is. It's so sad. It's so cute. I love the little glasses and like the total toque, scarf, hat, mitts, everything. <laughs> and the mitts hanging off the sticks. It's cute. Here, maybe we could show it under here. There we go. So you can see some of that fabric. It's so cute. <laughs> That's all I have. It's so cute. <laughs> This guy here was who I was talking about. <laughs> I thought he was just too cute. Loves the snowmans. All right, so we just need one ish right now. Finish off this part. Okay. Yeah, let's cut a few because we know we're gonna need them. I know, it's super cute. I love it. I love the little snowmans. I love snowmans. Snowmans and pumpkins. I love pumpkins about fall and the fall leaves. Um, and, and snowman for winter, for sure. Those are, that's my favorite. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just put that there for now until we know what we need. Let's put this guy up here. I'll put him this way. <clears throat> and you can mix and match. Not not everything has to be in a line like this. You could choose to feature certain fabrics, feature just one fabric, feature about five different fabrics and mix and match and do your own little pattern. You can um, do, like I said, just one fabric. I mean, and, and then flip and flop it, or especially if it's like directional or something like that, or it's got like a a stripe to it or a curve or a wave or something like that, you could really make another unique di an individual pattern with how you lay out your fabric, right? And what fabric you're using. I found white to be the most appealing. 
uh, when it came to the cathedral windows, maybe because it's the light it gives in behind. I'm not sure. I just, I think it's just, it's really pretty. It's just, uh, I really do, I do, um, I like the way it looks when it comes to the white fabric. Okay, so we got one, two, all right, that's three, and then let's get the last fourth one here pinned. Oh, did I pull my full pin out? Oh, no, I just pulled the thread out. Okay, all right. And of course, we've got all these other beautiful, lovely colors to continue down when we get that other section sewn together next week. Okay. Let's finish off this little section here. I love this uh, reindeer fabric with the green backing and then the white and red reindeer as well as the white and red um, snowflakes. That's so pretty. And I, I made a, quite a few stockings out of this uh, a few years ago. So isn't it pretty? I just like it because it's all over the place. Or are they? Well, I guess they are kind of directional. I thought they were all over the place. Oh, well. It don't matter. Stick it any way you want it. <laughs> so what's everybody's favorite Thanksgiving dish? Since our Thanksgiving is next weekend, I'd like to look at some of your suggestions and maybe we might make something new for our next Thanksgiving dinner together. So if, if something appeals to all of us in your suggestions, I, am, I will be happy to make it. And we can give it a Tesco because we, we like to, you know, we like trying new things. Obviously, you can't have anything to do with bell peppers or nuts. Um, so don't, don't be suggesting no pecan pie. Or you're going to be killing me. Um, or some, like, red pepper jelly or something. That ain't going to suit it either. So, but what, what's some, or some sweet potato casserole? Okay, stuffing. Well, definitely stuffing. Garlic mashed potatoes. Okay. I like that. I like that. Cornbread dressing. Buttered turnips, pumpkin pie, definitely pumpkin pie. I'll be definitely making a pumpkin pie. You might may even see a little bit of that on next Saturday because I think I'm going to try and make it on the Saturday um, just so it's I'm not taking up uh, any of the kitchen space with Pop on the Sunday and he can do whatever he likes and they're not having to worry about me and the, and the pie because the pie will be done, but I can certainly do the breadcrumbs and stuff like that cranberry chutney oh that sounds good we've always made cranberry sauce so what do you put in your chutney there robin and what do you put in your cornbread dressing there mindy what's what's your what's your go-to ingredients for your cornbread dressing i need a good stocking pattern what pattern do you, i just made one up actually wendy in fact i have a replicated one right here of i have to do another one for uh, a lady actually stopped by last week so this is one I made for one of her granddaughters, and she wants another one just like it. So I just did a nice good sock. I took a normal red sock that you get from Walmart or whatever, and then just traced it out. It was a good size. You don't want too big, because and then the stockings end up being just as expensive as the, the rest of the doodads, right? So yeah, they want another one made out of this cute little um, penguin fabric. So that's what she dropped off. And this is for Carson. This, this one will be for Carson. So, and I'll make it just like this so I can embroider it. And I see it's dirty with coal, so it must have been from Christmas last year. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that, she dropped that off and wants me to finish that for her. So. Isn't that cute? And because I have the embroidery machine, I can do it, right? So, yeah, it's a good size. Not, not too big, not too small. Parsnips with parboiled and then sautéed in butter. Oh, that sounds good. Corn mac and cheese casserole. Oh, I've never had that. Uh, my kids like oranges added, but I'm allergic. Now they're happy with lots of apple chunks. Okay. See, I'd go do, definitely do the cranberry and apple. Definitely. Kids don't like mashed potatoes, so I make funnel. Funnel? Funnel? Funeral? Fun, hash browns with cheese casserole. Okay. <clears throat> Onion, celery, herbs, egg, secret. Is enough ch chicken broth to be almost soupy than big? Oh, okay. And cornbread, old cornbread, crumbled. Okay, okay, I got gotcha. you. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. It was funeral potato. I'm like, what's going on? We don't want anything too sad going on here today. <laughs> Chipping chicken and dumplings. Have you ever had tried turkey dumplings? That's what I do for Thanksgiving besides the ham. Oh, very turkey dumplings. Hmm, no. Oh, we would like to try something new. We'll see uh, via the comments what my Munchkin Pop and I want to try. So thank you, everybody, for, for giving your little tidbits of information. All right, we'll sew these last four on, and then we'll call it for today because I think we're pretty much good to go for the next section. But I'll get all the white bits sewn together next week so if that's easier, and then we can just add their colors, okay, and finish it up. Berry dumplings. Mmm, I like dumplings all together. I like, I like, I like me a dumpling. I like pierogies and dumplings and all sorts of good fun stuff. <clears throat> Back. Uh, no more sewing. Oh, I missed that. Um, oh, hopefully, if everything, I heard somebody say sorry, Pat, so that's not good. I'm sorry, what things are not going your way there, Pat? Oh, not air sewing. Hello, Miss Peanut. <laughs> Hello, pretty Peanut. Thank you. We're working. Work, uh, hold on. Let me finish this couple little things here, and I'll show you what we're working on. That's pretty Peanut. That's my pretty. That's my American cousin. <laughs> we were talking about Thanksgiving and what everybody's favorite dish is. Uh, I think one of the last times you were here, you were making a cheesecake for a barbecue party. So what's one of your things you do for Thanksgiving there, Peanut? Because ours is next week. Our Canadian Thanksgiving is next week. So we're excited to try some, one of our new dishes that has been suggested by one of the fans of the channel. So what do you do for Thanksgiving? <laughs> oh, a couple of a couple of interesting ones right now. I'm not sure what Pop and Munchkin are gonna want to go for, but we can certainly try something new. Oh, bye, Kathy. Take care. <laughs> I just uh, love good cornbread. Oh, yeah, well, actually, cornbread cuffing, uh, stuffing, cuffing, stuffing just uh, came up in the selection of uh, choices. So I don't think we've ever had cornbread stuffing. So maybe that might inspire us to grab a couple of cornbreads instead of regular loaf breads, right, to, to make our stuffing. So. Innocent? I highly doubt that, Sass. Those words in you just don't go together. <laughs> But I mean that in the most nicest way possible, this has. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> right, they got a couple more squares to sew here, and then I'll show you what we got going on. Put my pins in my pin cushion as I'm going here. Of course, I got my pins going in all sorts of different directions. I use cornbread and then a little white bread. I'm not sure why. I think that's just how I was taught. Okay, all right. Maybe the combination of the two really make it for a, a tasty. And do you toast it? Do you guys toast your, your, your crumbs first? Because that's usually what we do with our little bread chunks. We'll like make them into like croutons, season them and toast them, and then they go in to make the stuffing after they've been toasted. So they have a chance to absorb lots of fluid. So or the uh, broth or whatever. We got the turkey chicken, turkey chicken cooking. The turkey cooking it, <laughs> turkey chicken. <laughs> don't use a sweet cornbread? No, I probably wouldn't, no. I would more like use a savory sort of cornbread. I don't think a sweet would make uh, for very good uh, stuffing, I don't think. I could see that probably burning up or caramelizing in some way with too much sugars or something. Your gang. <laughs> we're your posse, man. We're your posse. We're, we're, we're there with you there, Sass. <laughs> All the way, thick and thin. <laughs> oh, thank you for subscribing there, Andrea. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Welcome to the club, club. We try to have a lot of fun around here with all us ladies. 
We had some good numbers last week. We uh, peaked at just shy of 400 for several hours. We had 400 people here for several hours during our 12-hour stream, so that was lovely. Other than that, the average was just around 300. So, And that, that is pretty good, too, for a uh, 12-hour live stream, having 300-plus people for every single hour. So that's, that's fantastic. We were proud of that. Only 44 people need to subscribe until we're 20,000. And that's not bad for a little Canadian quilt shop out in the middle of butt nowheres. So I think that's pretty good. I'm pretty proud of us. So if you don't know anybody who's subbed, stick it in the face. Tell them to sub. <laughs> oh, got one more here. Okay, got one more. 44 and I got a nice surprise for the October for the October um, 12 hour live stream if we do it or if we get a chance to get there I've got 20 giveaways 20 giveaways to do for the 20,000 hi Rovi you coming back hello sweet baby hi Rosie puppies come see eyes come over there we go hi I know I know Oh, it's such a circle girl. It's such a circle girl. Yes, you are. Hi, yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. Really? I love you, but <laughs> we have to get that personal. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. <laughs> yes, yes. I can't believe how we're only like just a little bit away from 20,000. That's not bad for our little quilt shop. Four years on the net. Not bad at all. Separate dish for stuffing. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, that, that's good to know. That's good to know. We had it underneath our turkey. That's how we learned to cook it, it was underneath our turkey. Turkey breast, though, and then the other stuff gets kind of piled on top. But it tastes so good. Oh, bye, Ann. Bye, Annie. Okay, see you later. Have, you have a fantastic weekend. I'll give your horse a good old snuggle. Okay, I think, I think we can do a little show here. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, 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 okay, here we go. Oh, that looks stunning. Oh, oh, oh. Look at us. Just got that little bottom corner to do. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. So pleased with that. That looks really nice. So cool. Just got to add a few more colors up on this side. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, we'll be done by next uh, next week. I'll, I'll plug, plug away a little bit so we can finish it up next week for sure. Okay. But that that's looking awesome. That's looking really awesome. It's got a lovely little weight to it. I really like it. I really like it a lot, actually. Like I said, a couple little holes. I'm not worried about it. I can whip stitch them closed or I can use them as ventilation. I don't really care. So it's looking pretty. Very pretty. All right. I think we'll call that for today. Does anybody have any questions about this project? Okay. Because I can answer you now. Okay. Uh, was it, that's why I grabbed the piece, honey. Okay. Okay, we'll do we'll do a, do a little do a little uh, quick demo here. 18 inch by 18 inch square fabric, sewing down the one sides each, so you end up with like a little pocket here. Okay, from this it goes like this, where you line up the seams. Okay, line up the seams. Then you're gonna sew, leave a gap towards the middle, and then sew. 
And then once you have that gap, you're going to turn things right side out. So you end up something like this, okay? With your little hole where you've turned your things right side out. From this point here, you're going to make in your four corners. One, two, three, four. Give a press. And then these press lines become your sew lines as you're stitching them together. When you have your section that you want stitched together, you're going to stitch down these little four corners right here into the center. And then that's where this fabric comes in. When you're connecting them from piece to piece, this fabric comes in, you fold it over and you stitch it down. Okay. Aw, thank you, Quinn. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you, Naomi and Tina and, 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 and Tenna. Tenna Wolf, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. And that's as, literally as complicated as it is. You just have to get yourself through it. Yes, it is pretty much a quilt as you go because you're not really adding anything. You're just making a lot of, it's a lot of fabric. You could add batting underneath these squares without any issue at all and make it a quilted. But it wouldn't have batting in these spots here. But I think it would still give a nice weight if you wanted it as a nice big heavy, like an addition to your uh, winter quilts. Or it just has a nice lovely summer quilt. So, and that's, that's pretty much the jivvy jivvy. Oh, thank you, Mindy. It's very easy. Once you, once you wrap your brain around it and you get your process going, it's really quite easy. And it doesn't have to be perfect. There's never a perfect quilt out there, so don't feel like you have to make it perfect. There isn't. So... <laughs> it's got green on it, Sass. You don't want it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, anybody have any other questions? Other than that, we will see you on Tuesday for the cross stitch at 10 a.m. Eastern, where we're going to finish off the Tales of Wonder um, cross stitch uh, bookmark. Okay. Applicate over the green. <laughs> I'll just rip all those green ones out for you. <laughs> well, look, no seam ripper count today. Yeah, I know how, how Pop feels better too. So that's why I said we'll probably be two and a half, three hours today, Pop, I promise. So that way you can kind of just relax. How much material did you start with? A lot, Winona, about 11 meters of white fabric. But it's broadcloth and it was cheap and I washed it and yeah, so. Mm, Manitoulin Island. Well, you're not very far from us there, Susan. No, you're not. Yeah, glad you can join us. We're just about to head out there. Uh, it's in Ontario. It's not very far there, Mimi. Not very far from us, actually. So that's what we got so far. We have another quarter quadrant down there in the to get going, but I'll have it all sewn together, and then we can just add the colored pieces for next week, okay, and finish those off. No, I did not starch it. I really wanted it to be floppy to have some flexibility of sewing the pieces together. So I did not starch it at all. I didn't stabilize it with any other bits and bobs or anything like that, so. And then, like I said, once you get your corners sewn together, these are the bits here that you fold over to enclose your colored fabric, okay? Mm, well, thank you, Gwen. I'm glad you're here too. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Sarah. Appreciate that. Yeah, we're not, they're not very far. They're not very far at all. All right. If nobody has any other questions, we thank you very, very much for joining us. And don't forget to check out the Home and Hearth Living channel. That's our other little channel that we hang out at and do some stuff around the yard and cooking and baking and just having some general fun of what we're not doing here in the quilt shop. And uh, it usually keeps me and the boys pretty busy. So thank you very much for your time. We greatly appreciate every single one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And please continue to watch us and we will work on this project and finish it up next week, okay? So sleep tight, big hugs. We'll see you soon. Don't forget to send that email to Tanya Jones so I can send your quilt off to you when I get it done this week, okay? Big hugs, everybody.